Hello boys and girls, this is going to be first video of a series about Odonata which are basically dragonflies and themselves flies. The nymphs and then also some adult patterns. This is a nymph of dragonfly or mimic the nymph of dragonfly. And it's a weighted one. However, I will recommend you fishing some floating names with a sinking line because this is basically insect of still waters or some slow pools on rivers. But sometimes you need to have some weighted version. For example, if you're fishing with floating line or in some stronger stream, you will get faster down with a weighted, weighted fly. These nymphs are always present in the in the water, at least in a st still water. So it's all year trout food, and they can be pretty big. They can go up to two inches, which is huge. Fly. This is about one inch, about three centimeters, and the hook. It's Jemco 200R, size 4. These are barbed, so I will go first for crush out the barb. And I tie this in a reverse direction, as you can see. Well, you can you can do it also the other way, but it will flow like this. So better do it this way. So the hook and the thread, Srivas again. Tying the thread. And I'm going all the way back. Now these names, the dragonfly names, have gills inside the abdomen. And you can see how they breathe in, how they contract the abdomen. So they don't have gills at the end, but there's some tip there, so I will add few of uh, ostrich hairs, uh, something like dark olive, like four, about, and tie this in pretty short, like three, four millimeters long. Now I'm going to thread under so that it will rise them a bit. Just like this. Trim the rest. Now, as you can see, I have kind of hairs on the side. Uh, and I'm using the same material for this two on each side, so take first two for one side side and two for the other one and we need to fix this on the body with some some thread or floss once the body is made up so I will add just standard uni thread olive color but you can use some floss something different it's not really see there but it's on a every every segment 
is all the this kind of gears is not gears but you know this free homes so tie in the thread for the ribbon and the body material or abdomen material is a new skin for from virtual nymph and color is medium 10 three millimeters so take a piece of this and you should cut the uh, descent for better tying and tie this in I will add some weight to lead wire. One weight is these undumbled eyes, which are a big, a little bit big here. I will use maybe smaller one. But I will also add the, the lead wire here. Okay, first I will do a little thread base I will put a varnish on it and wrap the weight depends on how heavy the fly you want I will go for something like this Secure this. And we now to have built uh, the the underbody with uh, some wool or dubbin, whatever you like. I'm going for the dubbin, the fly right. Just a long fiber dubbin. Well, a bunch of this tie in. If you could take a look on these names, they can be pretty fat. So, start wrapping and building, building the body, the shape. Okay, something like this. We'll just secure this and maybe add a bit more in front. Yep. Because next we can go for wrapping the new skin. And there are about roughly about eight segments of the on the abdomen. Don't do it too tight. But I'm not really loose.
up here or something. Oh, that's fine. Now the abdomen is pretty long compared to the thorax. So we'll finish somewhere here. Secure it. If you try rate wraps. Trim this. Now we go in for this side hairs and okay, take, take the thread and start following these wraps of the the nymph skin one and the other side and you can do this a bit more firm tighten the thread you can use some monofilament for this too Some tin tippet material. So nicely follow wraps and secure here. Trim it. I will make a thread base here. Secure this. Now I will go turn the fly. We will tie in a piece of an skin for the shell uh, for the the thorax back. Keep it on top and all the way because we will don't make the head here. Secure this. You know, don't need. We just need uh, about two centimeters maximum. So trim it. Secure it. I will build a bit also here with the dubbin or what you what you using. Make it more robust. Okay, that's enough. I say here I used the dumbbell eyes four millimeters, but I'm going for smaller. I'm going for three point two for the hook size 4 so 3.2 tied in here all the way front do a strong thread wraps here so they will not rotate Okay. Now legs is 
from Peacock Hell, but you can use biots or what you like. Maybe some pheasant tail fibers. I'm going for this. And I will leave there the brighter end because they are in real have uh, the brighter ends or translucent if you want. I will just trim the real end and tie it here on a side. If you can see this, something like this. Not that long, about 10 millimeters. In real, they are a bit longer. One for the other side. And I will add more of these ostrich hairs. I will make the thorax with this one. I will I take two tie in and do a couple of reps. Both at the same time. Okay, this says fine. Secure. Trim it and we're going to add the second pair. Sorry, of flex. I will tie in them. In a to front but they will we will later put them back so the same like before tie this in one and second one on the other side Trim this, the rest, tie in more, two more of this ostrich arrow, tie it in, now start to wrap this. and pull the second legs back secure the hell Trim this and we should add two more legs. I will tie them to front. One and two. Secure Trim this 
picker girl and I will add one more last one ostrich hell just one it's enough it's not necessary but for the form and wrap it here just a few wraps is fine secure it over the hair don't worry and I'm going somewhere in here between the last and the middle legs with a thread and I will bend this down and secure here And for time, that's all. Uh, just we finish. I started using the finish tool. I'm proud. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more classic way, my classic way, and all at a varnish, a drop. Now I will turn the fly, so you can see it, and we'll trim this. Okay, uh, show you. Trim this. Like this. Trim thread. That's it. Um, just going to take a marker and paint a bit. On that on top here. Okay. And here we go, the weighted dragonfly nymph. As I said, you better use on steel water the floating one, but sometimes it's necessary to have the weighted one. This one is great. Big fly or big fish and some other videos about the dragonfly patterns will follow a floating nymph some dams a fly nymph and then adults the farm so this is all for today just please subscribe to my channel if you can because the YouTube want to stop my partnership because I don't have thousand subscribers so 
if you can help me this way. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and bye.